All right, let's begin. Oh no, we got no music. No music. No sound. That's not good. Not good. Uh, let's start, restart this. Restart month. Uh, maybe complete silence. There'll be no voice acting either. I don't think. Um, Alright, let's start that again. Let me check my options. Let's offset perfectly. Now maybe we we'll take this off. Um, and let's start. There we go. It has a very nice intro. How are you gonna find that statue and all this junk? Uh, how are you gonna find all this statue and this junk, huh? It's some kind of funeral urn. It's a stone carving of Shiva. It's a medieval gargoyle, or a good imitation. Mm. It's a genuine candlestick. That's a genuine candlestick. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. <gasps> Oof. No deaths here. No deaths. He's still alive. They just took a little tumble. They just took a little tumble. Yeah, welcome to the Jatsuna SSI. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix Collection. Looks like textiles from the Shamit Collection. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Well, that's probably a movie prop. The label says unidentified potsherds. Okay, I have to get all here. Pick up the rope. No! Oh. I've done enough climbing today. Oh, you need some I don't climbing. need them. They're just textbooks. 
I think I've read them all. Okay. It's an old lecture hall desk. There's nothing of importance here. Hey, 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 he hasn't forced at doing Indiana Jones, so uh, never too old. There's nothing of importance here. Alright, books on taxes. These books don't look familiar. Of course not. Uh oh. Uh, fell through again. Uh, this intro is pretty cool. I really can't do anything in the intro, like picking anything up. You can just look at stuff. Better get that roof checked. Uh, you better get that roof checked, huh? A cheap copy of a Siamese idol. And down we go. Okay, open this phone up. Ah, too hot, huh? A dirty rag. It's a greasy old towel. It's a greasy old towel. Uh, you can't pick anything up here. No, we, uh, other than the. I'll part. be. Here's what I've been searching for. Horn statue. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. Back to the school, let's see what happens here. I actually know what happens, but I see the couple of streams of this too. Part bit the pieces of it. I'm back. Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. Charles. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh What was your name again? Smith. Tell me. Did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor. But I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. Hmm. My word, India, a small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. Hmm. What is fake? Got away. He did but we get got away. his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus mm. Kerner, huh? Klaus Good Kerner. Lord, indeed. A man, some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What does the spy want with the Buddhist statue? 
I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Of course, it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. Where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. Mm. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kona found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. Oh. Okay, main game here is about to start. Oh, we got to be able to do something here. All right, Madame Sophia tonight. There we go. Oh, I think F5, yeah, F5, we can save. Alright, we're gonna call this, uh, save one. Yeah, let me know how the uh, music and uh, voice volume is. I can definitely, uh, make, make adjustments. This was taken a long while ago, when I thought we might like each other. Why do I keep looking at her? I don't know, why are you? I can't do anything now. Why do I keep looking at her? Uh. While I was digging up Viking gravesites, she was secretly collecting pieces from Atlantis. Hmm. While I was digging up Viking gravesites, she was secretly collecting pieces from Atlantis. Anything else to say? About While it? I was digging up Viking gravesites, oh. she was secretly collecting pieces from Atlantis. Alright. Okay, let's go. The other guy's getting pretty good. Oh, it's today's paper. This paper. Take it. It's today's paper. It's today's paper. What? No, you use the paper? I don't think that'll work. Open the paper. It doesn't seem to open. I can't make a call. I'm out of nickels. You're out of nickels? I don't think I remember a time when it, it, it cost a nickel to use the paper. Hello there. The show sold out, sir. Oh, no. Um. No seats, no standing room, no exceptions. Excuse me. Come back next week. Excuse me. Come back next week. Come back next week. Get go this way. Okay, that's it over here. Oh, the back entrance. Hello. 
Well, that doesn't seem to work. I can't move it. I can't move it. Hmm, it's unlocked. Oh, got this big guy. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. Oh, I'm here to enjoy Madame's outrageous orientations. I'm here to enjoy Madame's outrageous orations. This ain't that kind of show. I think there's a misunderstanding here. I think there's a misunderstanding here. Are you calling me stupid? No. No, sirree. Lucky for you. Now shove off. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why won't you take no for an answer? Uh, I really need to talk to this star. I really need to talk to your star. So, buy a ticket like everyone else. Oh, uh, help me out here, will you? Help me out here, will you? I would, but she'd have my head. Wait a minute. Hmm. Yeah, what for? I really need to talk to your star. Yeah, find the right dialogue Stop, ops. You're breaking my heart. It's a matter of life and statuary. It's a matter of life and statuary. Life and what? On second thought. Wait a minute. Yeah, what for? Um, I really need to talk to your star. You'll find the right dialogue. That's what they all say, Mac. Well, I gotta see her. She's the most wonderful woman. I've got to see her. She's the most wonderful woman. Don't kid around, pal. You're talking about my idol. Um, I think we need to choose the second option here. I shouldn't exaggerate, but she's great with fiction. I shouldn't exaggerate, but she's great with fiction. What did you say? Take it back! Okay, uh, okay, that's a tall I'm sorry. Answer. Apology accepted. Now take a hike. Wait a minute. Yeah, what for? Alright, um... I really need option. to talk to your star. That's what they all say, Mac. And then, uh... I've this? got to see her. She's the most wonderful woman. Don't kid around, pal. You're talking about my idol. No kidding. I think she's the greatest. No kidding. I think she's the greatest. Me too. Dave. Something about her. Um. Yeah, she's very pretty. Yeah, she's very pretty. That goes without saying. Good night. Wait All a minute. Oh, right. uh, I forgot the dialogue no she here. All right, talk to star. I really need to talk to your star. Another admirer, huh? Um. She a great cerebrum. Yeah, she's got a great cerebrum. Watch your mouth, bub. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Now shove off. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why won't you take no for an answer? Uh, I really need to talk to your star. Another admirer, huh? Yeah, she's very smart. 
smart. I'll say. You know what I really like? It's the way she... She... Uh... The way she makes things so easy to understand. The way she makes things easy to understand? That's it. All that smart stuff seems so easy when I'm listening to her. Say, you're okay for a college boy. Come oh. on in. Oh, got in. All right, let's uh, make a save. Let's do save two. Hold on. You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. Yeah. Alright. I need to talk to that so-called psychic. I need to talk to that so-called psychic. It's Madame Sophia to us employees, fella. Uh, that's... Excuse me. Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Mm. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Okay, that's uh. Excuse me. Shh. She's just coming to the exciting part. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher, or the earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or, perhaps it was a volcanic eruption and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. I can see about that guy. I wasn't sure how it's come to be um, uh, handle things. There you go. All right. I didn't make didn't change my uh, scene at all. There you go. Oh, that worked. Uh, maybe give this newspaper we got. Um, let's try giving the newspaper to the stage here. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? I've got a newspaper here. So you do. Yeah, aren't you wondering about the events of the day? Aren't you wondering about the events of the day? I don't know. Maybe. How'd you like today's newspaper? Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? Alright, I'll do that for you. Alright, let's, uh, hit the, uh... Push. To our left. And then the right, then we'll do the center maybe. Uh, 
Uh, oh, there's a red button too. Well, I wonder what the red button does. Uh, it's green. There it goes. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through. Uh. May I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of. of. Deceit. Deceit. Thanks, Indy. Indiana Jones, you've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack o' lantern. Oh, great. Good night, folks. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. I'm so either. I'd say it's about time. Oh, no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. No one here. Mm hmm. Nor here either. Hmm. Wonder what happened. Oh, but he is here. Doctor Uberman. Fantastic news. We found the treasure we see. That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Ubermann announces plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? Oh, uh, I'll never find enough uranium. They'll never find enough uranium. Of course not. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Oh. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. You never published a word about your Yet finds. You never published a word about your finds. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Hmm. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. What do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Oh, Watch boy. closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Hmm. Closer than Atlantis, that's for sure. Closer than Atlantis, that's for sure. Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. Um, yeah, we have no idea where to find the mythical lost city. We have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Shh. I'm getting something. She's psychic. Nurab Sal speaks. 
He bids us find the... What? A, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. Uh, not in any library I've been in. Not in any library I've ever been in. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. Oh, you found this stuff in Iceland, right? You found this stuff in Iceland, right? Yes, near our old dig site. I thought so. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. Okay, and we, here we are heading off to Iceland. Oh, we got the famous Indiana Jones whip. Oh, let's talk to Sophia first. Listen. Yes? Remember this place? Remember this place? The Jastro Expedition. How could I forget? Hmm. Uh, cold enough for you? Cold enough for you? Even colder than my feelings towards you, Jones. Mm. Mm. What do we do now? What do we do now? Let's look for Heimdall. Okay. Okay, anything here? Uh, there's the Heimdall. Oh, I have to talk to him. Pardon me. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my dig site now. Go away. Alright, um... Doctor, what do you expect to find here? Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. Mm. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land, and how they never set foot upon it. Never set foot upon After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they've ever tailed by ghosts. Oh. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, John? Hey there, Dan Van Dam and Raiders, welcome. We are, uh, we're playing some uh, Indiana Jones here and the Fate of Atlantis. So we just got started in this game. Uh, yeah, we beat uh, Doom 64 earlier tonight. Man, that boss fight was tough. Man, that boss fight was tough. But uh, yeah, we uh, prevailed, found Cheese Strat, and uh, we were able to take, take him out. So yeah, we're doing some Indiana Jones here tonight, and uh, playing some uh, Dark Knight of Quinn uh, this weekend. So uh, yeah, definitely uh, feel free to give Dan Van Dam a uh, raid. Uh, playing some more Blue Dragon. So how is uh, Blue Dragon going for you? Still doing grinding in that? Um, I don't know, but maybe Sophia has an idea. I don't know, but maybe Sophia has an idea. Forget it. I'll just tell you. He was stopped by a force field put here by beings not of this earth. Hmm, that's fascinating, Doctor. All right, you got the uh, grinding and uh, story progress. Story progress is always good. Uh, have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? 
Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow, who claims he translated the whole thing. And Philippe Costa in the Azores Islands. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp tracer. Uh, what was that about the last dialogue? What was that about the lost dialogue? Dr. Sternhardt and Costa. Why did these beings show up here? I am convinced that these travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a spaceport. Mm. Up north here, we're close to the ether. It's a perfect landing site. Uh, so what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? So what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? Right, the Yastro expedition, the one you're about to work on. Oh. Recently I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Somebody must have been selling them. Go ahead, blame it all on me. Oh, I heard the uh, Octopated Complex. Yeah, it sounds like Peter Graves. Yeah, I don't know who Peter Graves is, but... Uh, I'm not sure who did the, the voice actor for Indy. It showed up in the credits in the beginning of the game, but I uh, wasn't paying close attention. Ah, so you completely discount the supernatural. So you completely discount the supernatural? Completely. If it's supernatural, you want. Dr. Sternhardt and Costa. All right. Uh... Uh, I think that's all we can get from him, so, so, long. so long. Good luck, fellow believer. Alright. Let's see, before we go, let's uh, talk to Sophia. Excuse me. What's on your mind? I think the good doctor got frostbite to the brain. I think the good doctor's got frostbite to the brain. I'll say, spaceman, my eye. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what's a lot of TV, so. <laughs> uh, my uh, list of actors and actresses that I know off, off the top of my head are, are very small, very small. I'll probably recognize them if I uh, see them. Alright, let's uh, head out of here. Uh, nothing here. Walk down to the encampment here. It looks like someone's still living here. Alright, open. It doesn't seem to open. Uh, push? I can't move it. I can't move it. Sure you can. Not like concrete it in. It doesn't seem to close. It doesn't seem to open. I don't think we can do anything here. Use I don't anything. think that'll work. All right. Uh, I take the truck here. Let's head for the airport. Let's head for the airport. Oh, I got two places where we can go now. So let's go to Tickle here. Oh, yeah, I remember this part. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. 
Oh, we should probably say to go to all that dialogue again. Alright, let's uh save here as um save through. Hmm. Oh, let's look at this rodent. He looks like a jungle rodent. That's my whip. Uh. All right, let's follow him around. Uh, this is going to be a puzzle. That's my whip. That critter's too far away. Alright. Alright, let's see to a whip. Alright, get those Jordans a good whipping. So, it looks like we can, uh... There's nothing to whip at. There's always something to always something to whip at. There's nothing to whip at. That's my whip. All right, let's whip. Hmm. I gotta figure out uh, which one of these uh, paths. That critter's too far away. Uh, let's see, is there anything else here? Oh, uh, yeah, she's not here with me right now. It's like an infinite number of uh, pathways, but none of them take me anywhere. Hmm. That critter's too far away. Oh, great. Yeah, whoop the jungle road. Definitely what we need to do, but not sure where we need to go to. Can't actually go over here. Hmm. I wonder if she had some idea. Maybe I talk to her. Sophia. Yes. How do you like the tropics? You're the one who's afraid of snakes. Great, thanks for reminding me. Mm, snakes? I probably got to send that road and there's probably a snake in here somewhere. Looks like the end of the road. There's got to be a way through. Well, what do we do now? We probably should find Sternhart. But I'm not setting foot in that malaria-infested hole. <clears throat> it's my favorite piece of equipment. There we go. Oh, 
Alright, so... Alright, we go. Old Mother Nature. Now how do I get over there? There we go. Okay, um... <clears throat> Fine, we need to whip it. Wow, some bridge. Hi, Indy. Hello. How did you get over here? How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. Oh, uh, why didn't you let me know about that path? What do we do now? We better find Sternhard. Yeah, no kidding. We gotta find Sternhard. Um, there's a lantern. Talk about Texas lantern. Just a minute. That's my shop. I'm sure it is your shop. Can I help you with something? Postcard, replicas of the temple, souvenir mugs. No thanks, mister. Uh, no thanks, mister. Charles Sternhardt, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. No, oh, tell me about the temple. What can you tell us about the temple? Glad you asked. The locals claim my Indian things. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages, or does it seem much too civilized? Uh, uh, I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy. You're surrounded by it. Proof? Now that's hard. What does it mean we came to the wrong place? Well, does that mean we came to the wrong place? I've pretty much lost hope myself, but old legends and rumors die hard. Yeah, the uh, background work in this is definitely very well done. What kind of rumors? What kind of rumors? Local legend has it that the temple was built by men who are not men. What are men who are not what men? What are men who are not men? Who knows? I've heard everything from giant men with snakes for tails to giant snakes with men for heads. Alright. Yeah. Do you actually believe Atlanteans lived here? After the city sank, this is where they came, I'm sure. Okay, uh, can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Hmm. Mr. Smith. Uh, oh, we know no. about Mr. Smith. Yeah, I mean, he, he knows that land is underwater, because in the previous, uh, scene, you talk about the uh, about it being in the water. That's one of the dialogue choices. What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the lost dialogue. Oh, oh I did. a parrot. Maybe I talked to a parrot. Let's look around and talk, talk Thanks. to Thanks, we just like to look around. By all means. Don't forget about my investment grade curios. Oh, of course not. Let's talk to the bird. Uh, 
Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Hmm. Echo. Echo. Hmm. Caribou. Caribou. And pilot too. Uh, hope not. Bye bye, Birdie. Bye bye, Birdie. Oh. Mm. Hullabaloo. And pilot too. Oh. Uh, you want to use the whip on everything. Um. Probably can't whip the bird. It's probably important to the uh, quest here. You can't use it on the bird. Um, let's talk to Sophia. Excuse me. Yes. What do we do now? We could talk to Sternhardt again, or we could move on. Alright. Uh, Listen. Yes? Can we take a look inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. Uh, I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. That's scholarly, scholarly enough. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana sounds like the name of one of your states, or, or possibly a cat. Actually, it was the name of a dog. <laughs> Sophia. Uh, right. Um. Thanks. We just like to look around. As you wish. Give you time to decide on a proper souvenir. While I was digging up Viking gravesite, she was secretly mm. collecting pieces from Atlantis. Uh, I don't think the tree is not an object. I think I talked to him. We going to get the parrot to say something that we need, information that we need about. Uh, let's see if we pick up the lamb. Well now, let me guess. You and the little woman decided to take home that special mug, eh? I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Um, hmm. I have no idea. I don't know the title. Title! Ah! Well, at least you're an honest man. Alright, yeah, now I think we're gonna talk to the parrot, right? Title? Hermocrates! A friend of Socrates! Okay, so that was like the answer to the question that we need, so maybe we need to... Well now, let me guess. Hey! Yes? You simply must possess a genuine Tikal floaty pen. Hmm. About exploring the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Ah, uh, it's gonna be the Hermocrates. The Hermocrates. The Hermocrates. That's it. That's it! Ah! Well now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. 
Well, uh... I don't trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. Come on. Here we are. Let's see what you can do. Okay, we got into the temple here. This one looks different, more deeply etched. I can't move it. I can't. Years of tarnish have it all gummed up. I don't think that'll work. You don't think that will work? Look at the animal head. Looks like it could use a nose. Looks like it can use a nose. That might be a hint. Uh, anything else about this animal head? Looks like it could use a nose. Uh, look at. Move out of the way here. There's nothing to look at. Say there. Yes. What, the purpose of what the was chamber? the purpose of this chamber? You have me there. Some sort of crypt. Hmm. Listen. Uh, yes. Nice. You may not. Don't you have to keep an eye on your store? Oh, I'm sure it's safe. I'd much rather keep an eye on you. All right. Thought it's a fear here. Excuse me, Sophia. What's up? Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. Hmm. Uh, you get a light lantern? Pick up the lantern, maybe? Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. Okay. I figured we're we'll gonna need the lamp for something. Excuse me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. Uh, maybe use the lantern. The kerosene won't pour out. The so you took pour. my lamp, eh? I hope you know what you're doing. Doesn't seem to open. Mm. Doesn't seem to close. I can't move it. I can't. Years of tarnish have it all gummed up. Um. I don't think that'll work. The kerosene won't pour out. Uh, I probably need to use the kerosene on the spiral design. Um. I can't move it. Uh, I can't move it. You can't move it. It's already open. All right, if it's already open, um... Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Remarkable. Indeed, uh... Push the spot I can't on. move it. Now I got it. Marvelous. Well, we got spiral design. It's a stone carving. All right, we got a stone carving of uh, something here. Uh, 
We got the animal head. It's a stone carving. Mm -hmm. I don't think we got the stone, the stone head. I just saw you using this on the animal head here. Let's see what happened. It fits perfectly. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. It does, doesn't amazing. it? Amazing. It is amazing, isn't it? Well, that doesn't seem to work. What? It won't go any farther. A pole. Look at that! <gasps> oh wow! Astonishing! Bless my soul, the tomb of an Atlantean king! Here's a small stone disc with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone! Indeed, At it last is. I have the thing! Goodbye, fellow seekers! Wait! Oh no, he got away! Oh, there's something sparkling over there. Hmm. I'll pick up the shiny bead. Too bad for Sternhardt. He missed the Oracalcum bead. Oh. Oh, I think that's it. All we can do here, I think. Who knows? Maybe it is the tomb of an Atlantean king. Ah, oh, might be. Might be. Oh, I think we are done here. Sophia on the uh I'm supposed to get back for a but... Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I played this game before, so kind of uh Let's find the airport. You know what do certain sections I kinda of know what to do. Kinda of, sorta. Of. Uh, yeah, let's go to the Azores. Oh, uh, that's a pretty place. This is his house? This is it. Uh, this is, uh, I think we need to have Sophia talk to him first, I think. Sophia? Yes? Why don't you talk to him? Why don't you talk to him? My pleasure. Mr. Costa! This better be important. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Just watch. Watch. Well, hello, beautiful. Ah, Professor Costa, my name is Sophia. Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Mm. Madam Sophia, a renowned psychic? Indeed. Uh, we need your help. We need your help. At your service. What can you tell us about Atlantis? What can you tell us about Atlantis? I can tell you this. You're standing on it. It never sank, at least not all the way. Alright, uh, what happened to the Atlanteans? What happened to the Atlanteans? Well, they had a run of bad luck, demons and devils, and they left. However, their spirits have personally told me it was mostly bad luck. Uh, 
Yeah, so you can talk to these Atlantean spirits? So you talk to these Atlantean spirits? All the time. They've got me collecting their material things so they can come back to Earth. Hmm. What led you to the place Atlantis in the Azores? What led you to place Atlantis in the Azores? I didn't place anything. It's just the facts, ma'am. Plato's lost dialogue spelled it out in plain Greek. Hmm. What's this last dialogue you mentioned? What's in this lost dialogue you mentioned? Why, it's the last word on Atlantis, young lady. Do you have, have it? it? Nope. Have you read it? Have you read it? Nope. Do you know what's in it? Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. I'll mm. never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Uh, will you do business with my friend here? Do business with my friend here, madam. I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Don't be a stranger now. He's a sweet old guy. Trade, huh? If not your necklace, then what? I wonder. Hmm. Probably have to go back to, uh, uh, go back to, um, Iceland, I think. Cause that's where we're gonna find uh, more artifacts of some, of some kind. Yeah, I've, uh, played this game before, so kind of, uh, don't know the exact details of everything, but do, uh, You know to do in some certain puzzles. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's go back to Iceland. Uh, anything new here? This is the new to encampment. Open. It doesn't seem to open. I can't move it. I can't move it. All right. Yeah, I got your dig site here. Oh, he's frozen solid. The exposed eel head. Hmm. Too bad, he's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. I can't move it. I can't move it. It doesn't seem to open. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the eel. Uh, look at that. It looks like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. Oh, we can, uh, use this in the eel head. It fits perfectly. Whoa! Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. The eagle figurine. Bingo! How oh, it's easy. Um. Right here. I think we're done here. Oscar. Let's head for the airport. Uh, 
Okay, and here we go. Give him the uh, EO here. Fear for this or not, but we just uh, Mr. Costa, we come to this you better be important. Be firm but polite. I suppose you're selling something if it's not a priceless artifact. I don't want it. Oh. Oh, let's talk about let's a trade. Talk about a trade. Okay, what you got? I'm offering this mysterious, mysterious eagle figurine. I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully, I don't know exactly where to find it, but... The Lost Dialogue of Plato is in the Pierce Collection, got that? I think so. The Pierce Collection. Very good. Nice doing business with you. The Pierce Collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Pierce Collection. Oh. Somewhere, a research laboratory somewhere in Germany. Dr. Uberman. Fantastic news. Kerner, at last! See what Herr Jones has kindly provided? What on earth? Isn't it amazing? You fool! You come back to show me this, this, this... Prehistoric knickknack? Herr Doctor, I believe this knick-knack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal Plato called Orichalcum! Look here, concealed in the base is this small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire! Exactly as Plato described! It's my guess we found the treasure we seek. I never guess. We must test. My God. Oh my. We've done it. The energy of uranium without any radioactivity! And those smug American scientists know nothing! That gives me an idea. Suppose I place the bead inside the statue's open mouth. Oh my. You saw that? Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of tanks. Uh. Think of airplanes. Use your imagination, Carter. Think big like the American. Think of bombs. Oh my, in the plot thickens. Uh, we're back home here again. So why are you dragging me in here? Yeah, Plato's lost dialogue should be here somewhere. Plato's lost dialogue should be here somewhere. Need some help? Do I throw it off? Yes, please. It's scary in here. Yes, please. It's scary in here. 
Save the sarcasm, Jones. I'll meet you in your office. Well, I have to go to this part of the world. Okay, the wonder all over the place too. Uh, pick up the dirty bag. It's a greasy old towel. Cool, I guess. Here. It's hot. No kidding. Oh, you need something in the front. I think you need to put a coal in there or something. Uh, at some point. Um. Oh, it's fine. What else we need to do here? Uh, up the steps. Um. It's a screw. Early 20th century, I believe. I can't move it. Doesn't seem to open. Uh, we can't open the screw. Um, hmm. Alright, um, alright, yeah, I forgot how to open that. Uh, let's look at this again. It's an old lecture hall desk. Complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. Hmm, can you take the gum? Um, uh, it sure is gooey. Yeah, it's gooey. Uh, can we use the rope? I'm upstairs here. There's a little head. Let's pick that up. Let's pull the big crate here. It won't come any further. It won't come any further. Oh, we have the. Oh, that's the old chest here. It's locked. Well, of course it will be locked. All right. Um. Well, I think I think there's anything else we can do here. Well, that won't help me here. Yeah, we need Jimmy to open up that chest, right? Well, let's use the. I wonder if we can use the arrowhead to take the screws out. Ouch! The screw came out, but that hurt. Well, maybe we can use the arrowhead or the dirty bag. And use that out the arrowhead. It's unscrewed. Alright. It's unscrewed. Okay. It's unscrewed. Hmm. 
Yeah, I will uh, fix that off the stream, so I'll make it uh, a little bit bigger. It's almost time, it's almost time for us to wrap up here anyway, so uh, I'll get that set up for the next stream or I'll be uh, slightly bigger. It's unscrewed. Um, push this. I can't move it. Open. There's nothing of importance here. I unscrewed it off for nothing. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. All right. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh, the Crescent Hawks Revenge. Hmm. Don't think I have. I think we need to go back down to the basement. This part I do remember. This part I got stuck here for so long when the first time I played this. To use the gum with the horseshoe. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. What do you know? The gum works! Yeah, not likely to happen though. Alright, uh, let's pick up the cat figurine, I guess. It's much too heavy to carry. It's much too heavy to carry. It's made out of wax. Hmm, wax? So if it's made out of wax, that means you can burn it. Alright, um... Okay, I'm not sure what's going to be in the, uh... Oh, 1990, wow, that's an old one. Alright, uh, my, uh, backlog list only usually contains, uh, games from, uh, the, uh, available on GOG. So I don't think that one's on GOG yet. Well, it melted. Okay. Uh, it's very hot. Hmm, not sure if I did anything. I melted a cat in the furnace. Not sure what the point of that was. Oh, we gotta figure out how to get that chest open. Chest. I can't move it. It's locked. Mm. I can't pick that up. Oh, you see your head? That didn't do anything. That'll just make a mess. No, oh, he's a totem pole. That won't help me here. The floor? The floor isn't slippery enough. It won't move. Mm. Let's look at this chest again. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. Mm. So it's not slippery now. I need something to uh, slide the totem pole over, I think, maybe. Slide it over to break the uh, lock here. I can't move it. Um. 
let's use the rope. Alright, uh, nothing else we can do in these two rooms. So maybe I go over to my, uh... I guess my office is across the, uh, across the way. Maybe check my office for something. Uh... Well, don't just stand there. Go find Plato's Lost Dialogue. Uh, let's talk to Sophia. Uh... Well, don't just stand there. Go find Plato's Lost Dialogue. Oh, uh, Anything here worth, uh... Nothing up here but a few broken pots. At these shelves over here. Here's a cartouche from the Well of Souls. Ice box. Hmm, might be something in here. Phew. Guess I should have cleaned it out. No idea what's in there. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Hmm, oil, totem pole, oil, totem pole. Alright, let's uh, pick this up. I think we got what we need, I think. Um, Alright, let's uh, walk back across the street here. Pick on to, uh, I think, one. Smash the uh, chest open with the totem pole. Or maybe there's a key or something behind it or something. We'll find out. Oops, wrong direction. Okay, let's use the mayonnaise. Looks like textiles from the Shamut collection. Hmm. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. I can't pull it any further. Well, maybe need to. Oh, maybe the key's up on the top floor. So you need to use the totem pole. Yeah. All right. If I were a key, where would I be? Mm, statue, candlestick, probably gone, right? It's some kind of funeral urn. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. Oh! Uh, it's looking Looks the... like someone's ashes in here. Uh, that doesn't seem to work. Feels like there's something loose in here. Oh, there is something loose in here. A key? Oh, a key? Key? We have a chest and a key? I think we're getting somewhere here. I don't think that'll work. Uh, there we go. Just walk down. Let's use that. There's a manuscript inside. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. The Lost Dialogue of Plato.
Uh, let's look at the last dialogue of Halo. Homer crazy! Now that I have the last Plato's last dialogue translated entirely, the Greek original is lost. So I've used the Arabic text I found in the entire monastery years ago. It always started with the hopes. Now I wonder, could this remarkable book hold the secret to long lost Atlantis? Probably not. No one will publish it, that's certain. The fear of Wikidio was too great to be safe. I've sent a copy to Pierce. Charles Sternhardt, London, 1922. Alright, there's lots of dialogue. I'm probably gonna have to read that at some point. Um, Okay. Oh, this is probably a good place to stop. So let's go and make a save. Let's call this uh, stream one here. All right, so I think we'll, we'll wrap the game up here for tonight. And we will continue to more Indiana Jones on Tuesday as we are going to uh, show off the uh, Plato's uh, book here and see what happens. We'll probably travel somewhere and uh, get stuck with more puzzles, right? Um, yeah, we'll be back here again tomorrow. Uh, we'll be starting at about 1 p.m. Eastern, and we will be playing some, uh, some more Dark Knight of Quinn. And we'll do some optional, optional content, and then we will continue on with the main story and see how, uh, how that goes. And then, um, yeah, we'll be doing that this weekend. And next stream for uh, Indiana Jones will be on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. So definitely uh, feel free to check that out. And if you're not already, uh, please do feel free to follow me here on Twitch and Twitter and Discord and YouTube and all of that uh, good stuff. Alright, let's go and um, let's see who is available for a raid here tonight. Alright. Let's see here who is on and who's playing something good. Um, why don't we yeah, why don't we go give Dr. CDC that's right, he's playing Age of Empires which is a pretty cool game so let's go and uh, go check that out Alright, and thanks again everyone uh, for coming out here tonight, and I will uh, see you guys all again uh, tomorrow for some more uh, Dark Knights of Quinn, so uh, have a good night.